The Manhattan District Attorney Alvin Bragg, along with his deputy Matthew Colangelo, who successfully prosecuted Donald Trump, are now calling the bluff of the MAGA Republicans in the House of Representatives. MAGA Republican Jim Jordan uh, requested that Alvin Bragg and Matthew Colangelo show up and testify publicly before the Judiciary Committee based on a number of completely false uh, kind of propaganda uh, things that the MAGA Republicans have been pushing on their right-wing media platforms and on their social media platforms. And so after first responding, look, we can't show up before sentencing. Donald Trump is set to be sentenced on July 11th. But then the Manhattan District Attorney's Office said, okay, we will show up and we will testify publicly. We will testify before the Judiciary Committee. Alvin Bragg will attend. Matthew Colangelo will attend. Go bring it, Jim Jordan and the MAGA Republicans, and we'll be able to show how absurd, how false, how ridiculous your conspiracies are. And we could spend the full day talking about the crimes that Donald Trump committed and that Donald Trump was found guilty of, that he was convicted of, 34 separate felony counts for falsification of business records. And we can spend the whole day talking about the fact that Donald Trump is a criminal. You see, the MAGA Republicans have consistently had their bluffs called by those who the MAGA Republicans spread lies about, right? Whether it's the MAGA Republicans uh, attacking Hunter Biden and then when Hunter Biden shows up to testify, they were too scared to take Hunter Biden's testimony. Or after all of the MAGA Republicans had been saying, look, we are going to impeach Joe Biden, we're going to impeach him, we're going to impeach him. And then you had Democratic Congress member Jared Moskowitz say, bet, okay, I will introduce the impeachment motion right now. Which one of you MAGA Republicans who are performing for Fox and Hannity and Ingraham and Newsmax every single night, let's do it. Who's voting to impeach? I hereby introduce a impeachment resolution. Who's going to second it? And then nobody seconded it. And here again, I think that um, with uh, truth on their side, with the facts on their side, and both uh, Alvin Bragg, the Manhattan District Attorney, and Matthew Colangelo being very experienced attorneys, also who are very adept at dealing with public matters and speaking publicly, they're like, okay, Jim, we'll show up, Jim Jordan. We will be there on July 12th the day after Donald Trump is sentenced, and we can go through all of the questions that you have, and then let's talk about the criminal conviction of Donald Trump. Let's talk about law and order. Let's talk about all the MAGA Republicans who showed up and attacked the judge's daughter and attacked the jury and attacked witnesses on Donald Trump's behalf. We'll, we'll have that conversation. Here's what we know as well. The Department of Justice had previously responded uh, to uh, some of the requests for information by these MAGA Republicans. They said, so the MAGA Republican um, conspiracy is that Attorney General Merrick Garland um, put Matthew Colangelo at the district attorney's office in New York to get Trump to go after Trump. Matthew Colangelo worked at the Department of Justice and he had a senior position at the DOJ and worked there for about two years. And then thereafter, he decided to work at the Manhattan District Attorney's Office as a special deputy. And he was on the trial team and did a very uh, good job in, in the prosecution of Donald Trump. So what the MAGA Republicans are saying, oh, that was ordered and directed by Merrick Garland, as opposed to, okay, Matthew Colangelo held one job working at the Department of Justice, and then there was another opportunity that was available at the district attorney's office where he felt he could better utilize his skill set and better utilize why he wanted to be a lawyer in the first place to protect and preserve law and order, and that he decided, I want to work for the district attorney's office. For the MAGA Republicans, this is all part of a, of a scheme, a massive conspiracy, that everything is rigged. And so that's why they keep going after Matthew Colangelo. And they're saying, Merrick Garland, you're the one who's really engineering the prosecution in New York. That's why. But, but do, do you notice as well, though, the MAGA Republicans never say, 
Donald Trump didn't do the crime. You notice that they never say, Donald Trump didn't make the hush money payments and falsify business records. Donald Trump didn't do that while Melania was pregnant. No, they say, it's rigged. It's all unfair. The grand jury was rigged. The judge is rigged. The judge's daughter's rigged. The jury is rigged. Everything is rigged and everything's so unfair. Why well, you talk about the facts that the crime was committed, that a jury of Donald Trump's peers after seven weeks of trial, after 12 hours of deliberation, reached a conclusion on a unanimous basis. 12 people came together after hearing this evidence, after a grand jury indicted, and then 12 people heard the evidence and said crimes were committed. Between all your bills from groceries to gas utilities, it can be a lot. However, did you know MD Hearing recently cut their price in half? Despite all of this, this podcast is sponsored by MD Hearing. MD Hearing just made their Neo Rechargeable Digital Hearing Aids only $297 a pair. That's over 90% less than clinical hearing aids. And the Neo actually fits inside your ear. No one will even know it's there. MD Hearing was founded by an ENT surgeon who saw how many of his patients needed hearing aids but just couldn't afford them. He made it his mission to develop a quality hearing aid that anyone could afford. As my brother Jordy mentioned last time we talked about this, we gifted our uncle a pair of MD hearing aids and he is in love. He's so much more present now and we're all together because they actually work. He swears by them and has told me they are the best pair of hearing aids he has ever had. MD Hearing is just as good as premium quality hearing aids. And hey, $297 for a pair of hearing aids this good is just crazy. Edward S. calls MD Hearing the best hearing aid I have used at any price. MD Hearing has sold over 1.5 million hearing aids and they offer a 45-day risk-free trial with a 100% money-back guarantee so you can buy with confidence. Get the hearing aid that you deserve with MD Hearing. Go to shopmdhearing.com and use promo code Midas to get their new $297 when you buy a pair offer. That's shop, S-H-O-P-M-D-H-E-A-R-I-N-G.com and use that code Midas to get the discount. Plus, they're adding a free extra charging case. That's a $100 value just for listeners of the Midas Touch podcast. That's shopmdhearing.com, shopmdhearing.com. Use the promo code Midas and get their new $297 when you buy a pair offer. So the MAGA Republicans sent a request for information to the Department of Justice and the Department of Justice says, uh, the response was, the committee has demanded information from the department because of what you describe as a perception that the Justice Department is behind the district attorney's so-called politicized prosecution and a perception that the Biden Justice Department is politicized and weaponized to that end. The department does not generally make extensive efforts to rebut conspiratorial speculation, including to avoid the risk of lending it credibility. However, consistent with the Attorney General's commitment to transparency, the department has taken extraordinary steps to confirm what was already very clear. There is no basis for the false claims. The department has conducted a comprehensive search for email communication since January 2021 through the date of the verdict between any officials in the department leadership, including all political appointees in those offices and the district attorney's office regarding any investigation or prosecution of the former president. We found none. This is unsurprising. The district attorney's office is a separate entity from the department. The department does not supervise the work of a state district attorney's office. It does not approve its charging decision and does not try its cases. The department has no control over the district attorney, just as the district attorney has no control over the department. The committee knows this. It goes on to say that it searched everything and there's nothing there. Then it goes on to say the self justifying perception asserted by the committee is completely baseless, but the committee continues, meaning the MAGA Republicans, continues to traffic it widely. As the attorney general stated at his hearing, the conspiracy theory that the recent jury verdict in New York State Court was somehow controlled by the department is not only false, but it is irresponsible. Indeed, accusations of wrongdoing made without and in fact contrary to evidence undermine confidence in the justice system and have contributed to increased threats of violence and attacks on career law enforcement officials and prosecutors. 
Then it goes on to say, our extraordinary efforts to respond to your speculation should put it to rest. Indeed, the department's actual role with respect to the district attorney's office regarding this matter is already a matter of public record. As court filings show, both the district attorney's office and the former president's defense team made requests for documents from the U.S. attorney's office for the Southern District of New York. In response to these requests, SDNY produced records to both parties, including the defense. The documents were produced to the former president's attorneys under a protective order imposed by the trial court. In any event, information sharing between a U.S. attorney's office and the local prosecutors is standard and happens every day all over the country. We hope you find this information helpful. Please do not hesitate to contact this office if you have any further questions. So then that happened. And then... Last week, they're in the Judiciary Committee, and they're starting late because the Judiciary Committee wants to pull this whole stunt. And the stunt is, we're bringing in Alvin Bragg and Matthew Colangelo. We're, and what they were hoping for is that Bragg and Colangelo are not going to show so that, that then the then you know what they want to do is hold them in contempt or go to court to try to compel them and to just go on and make you know and 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 do more of these maga stunts but Alvin Bragg and Matthew Colangelo were like well we're there we'll show up we'll testify let's do it and you know what i think is going to happen the same thing that happened when you had Hunter Biden show up before uh, the committee, uh, before the House Oversight dual committee hearing with the Judiciary Committee, um, and we showed up at both of them. Um, and here's Jared Moskowitz saying, OK, let's let's call him by a show of hands. Who wants to hear from Hunter right now? Here, play this clip. And the chairman gave the witness that option. Then the only folks that are afraid to hear from the witness with the American people watching are my friends on the other side of the aisle. I don't know if there's a proper motion, Mr. Chairman, but I'll make a motion. Let's vote. Let's take a vote. Who wants to hear from Hunter right now, today? Anyone? Come on. Who wants to hear from Hunter? No one. So I'm a visual learner, and the visual is clear. Nobody over there wants to hear from the witness. Oh, there's one, thank you. Will you yield for a question? I'm not there yet, but I will eventually. Uh, so there's no one, well, other than one or two, that want to hear from the witness. So the majority of my colleagues over there, including the chairman, don't want to hear from the witness with the American people watching. So, Mr. Chairman, are, I, I just want to hear from you. Will you acknowledge that you invited the witness on television to choose whether he could come to a public hearing and do you stand by your words or do you renege that invitation to the witness to answer the question i've said repeatedly the after the deposition mr biden can come in front of a public hearing mr chairman i don't want to play the video but that is not what you said on television multiple times uh, we have the quotes we can put them up you said the witness can choose between a deposition listen or mr moskowitz Mr. Biden doesn't make the rules. We make the no, rules. That, no, uh, Mr. Chairman, you make the rules. And the rule you made is that he can choose. I, that, those, the rule is... Those were your, those were your words. Reclaiming we, my he time. Was or in a brilliant uh, moment during one of the committee hearings, you had Jared Moskowitz, Democratic congressman, say, okay, you, you guys want to impeach? Let's do it. Do the impeachment now. Who wants to impeach? And then they refused to do it. Play this clip. Well, I mean, I'm just here to help him. Right. And so I just think we should do it today. Let's just call for it. I'll, I'll make the motion, Mr. Chairman. I want to help you out. You can second it. Right. Like make the motion to impeach President Biden. Go ahead. It's your turn. Se you second it. No, nothing. OK, we got nothing. So I want to, with my last couple of minutes, show the American people that they're never going to impeach Joe Biden. It's never going to happen because they don't have the evidence. OK, this is a show. It's all fake. They just want to do these hearings. It's not leading to impeachment. They're lying to their base on Newsmax and Fox, leading these people to believe that they're going to eventually impeach the president. It's not going to happen at all, ever, period. They don't even have the votes, even if they had it in committee. They don't have the votes on the floor. They know that. They got members resigning rather than taking a vote on the fake faux impeachment. Just ask Ken Buck, who said the speaker ain't going to get me to take an unconstitutional impeachment vote. I mean, boy. You see, I guess the expression, 
all bark, no bite. But with the MAGA Republicans, it's all wine and no sunlight, no shine. They, they, they never actually want the truth to get out there. And then they have to invent a Ponzi scheme of lies to cover up the next one. And this is why you now have this MAGA party in Donald Trump's image that, 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 that just is totally devoid of evidence, facts, and law and justice, and just spewing all this disinfo. Anyway, let me know what you think. Hit subscribe. Let's get to 3 million subscribers together. I'm glad. It's going to be a very interesting hearing when the district attorney and Colangelo show up on July 12th. We'll keep you posted. Enough! Send it to the big house, not the White House. Get the new exclusive tees, mugs, and stickers right now at store.midastouch.com. That's store.midastouch.com.